he sure does because it's their parent just as much as I am. This usually happens when uh, she leaves you with the kids and then she comes up with all sorts of programs that you didn't discuss about. She might even come home late. She's not doing it. Maybe because she has to do that. No, she's trying to prove some point. Of course, there's nothing wrong with looking after your kids. You have to do that. But where she has to sort of prove some point. <laughs> I can always tell the people who didn't have fathers growing up from the comments that say, oh, he does all that and pays all the bills and you still expect him to take care of the kids. Yeah, because money does not excuse you from being a parent. And a good father is going to want to be with his kids and take care of his kids. I hate how society is always like, oh, only the women are nurturers and caring and loving. Those are pretty much characteristics that any human being should have, okay? Uh, any parent should have that characteristic. You should be nurturing, you should be loving, you should be caring as a parent. Not as a woman, not as a man, as a parent. Father and mother. Me and my husband, if he gave them a bath, I'm fixing the food. If he fixed the food, I'll give them a bath. When it's like time for homework every day, we all sit at the table. He gets a child and help them with their homework. I get a child, I help them with their homework. We do everything together. He wakes up in the morning, works out, um, feed the kids breakfast, take them to school. When they get home from school, I wash them off and I get them their lunch and snack. We do everything as a whole. To read here in the comment section says, you got a simp paying all the bills. And you drop the kids off at school and drink wine all day until he comes home to do all the housework too. I just feel like you have got a clock on me all the time. Who has seen that viral post where the woman rings her husband who is at home with the kids? He works full time, five, six days a week apparently, and she's the stay at home mum. She's out shopping and then she bumps into a friend and just rings her husband and asks, could you look after the kids for a bit longer because I bumped into a friend. Has anyone seen that? Because reading the comments were very interesting. Basically, he flies off the handle and says, what do you mean? Like you were meant to be home 15 minutes ago. Um, it's your job to look after the kids. I, and he even says, this is the part that I, I really didn't like. He says, you know, that they're three and six. I don't know what to do with them. Looking after them is your job, he says. Some people were on his side saying if he works full time and you're a stay at home mum, then totally get why he's angry that you're not coming home when you said you will and you're spending a few hours longer than you said out with your friend. And then other people were like, well, she's at home with the kids. Oh, it's not even that. Of course, that's an opportunity for him to, uh, to bond with the kids. But where maybe she is doing it, like I was saying, she's doing, oh, she's done this before. She does it so that, oh, I watch the kids all the time. It's your turn. And guess what? The moment I have a chance to go out, I'm going to make up so many programs so that I don't come back here. Maybe I'll probably come back drunk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying here. Time, does she not deserve a break as well? And also, they are your, they're his, they're his children. It's not like he's a boyfriend or a stepdad and like the kids have nothing to do with him. They are biologically his children. So I guess what she was saying to him is, I'm surprised you wouldn't kind of want to spend time with them considering that you are working all the time and this is a chance for you to he could bond with them and he's just like i don't know what to do with them and this is your job so i, I think you probably know like by now which side i'm on because yeah i was quite outraged by his response i just thought like wow what do you guys think like i'm someone i am the oldest of four children um both my mum and dad in the household for the majority of my childhood i to be honest um me being six years older than the next one they're, they're all adults now but um because of that big age gap i was often a babysitter but obviously there were certain things like i, I couldn't do everything i was still a child myself and i um, both my parents worked full time so i guess they both they both took um, their own responsibilities with our upbringing. I don't remember. I, I don't. I don't know. For me, I think his response is bad because I felt in ways. I'm sure we drove them mad, but I still felt like our parents knew it was important to spend time with us, to bond with us, to get to know us. So I, I just think I, I'm. This is coming from like I don't have kids. Um, I have been in a serious relationship where children were discussed. Um, yeah. And if I'm to think back to that relationship, if we'd had children, 
and he'd reacted in that way, I'd have been disgusted. He did used to say things like, um, because when we discuss having kids, because as you know, I love to travel and I love, I just love enjoying life. Not to say you can't enjoy life when you have kids. I'm just very aware of how much my life is going to change. So whenever we would discuss like, you know, should we have kids now? I was always sort of like, okay, but what about like, aren't we supposed to go to Costa Rica? Aren't we supposed to go? We want to go on safari someday. I ended up going on safari by myself last Christmas and it was amazing. But anyway, my point is, um, yeah, I, I, I've got the mentality of how I would want my partner to react to children and his mentality for me was completely off. But what do you guys think? Oh, what I think is you yourself, you are not showing that, that you have the ability to take care of kids. Even if they are all your own, you can't take care of children already here. Like, yeah, you've stopped a lot of things. You, you, you lost me here. You lost me. You were talking about how you felt like you sort of had the cold feet when your man was bringing up about having kids and all that. Clearly, you can't take care of kids. Hi, Alan. Hi, babe. How's it going? Yeah. Oh, uh, where are you? I'm, good. I'm just in town. How are the kids doing? They're, they're fine. Listen, just a dead quick one. I was literally in town, and guess who I bumped into? I literally just bumped into town, Hannah, and I've not seen her you. in ages, have I? Oh. So, listen, I was just wondering, um, could you literally just hold on to the kids just for a couple more hours on your own? Because I said to her, you know what, let's literally just pop in town, you know, just for a drink. Sinead, are you being serious right now? This is my one day off, and you said you'd be home 15 minutes ago, and I'm sat here with the kids, and now you're saying you're going out drinking. No, 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 honestly, literally, we are just going to pop into town for like an hour, we're just going to have a few drinks, L literally, we're just going to have a coffee and maybe a little bit of lunch, honestly, would you mind? Honestly, every time, every time, they always end up... I've seen the conflict here, the man takes uh, his day off and maybe wanted to do something and relax and all that thing, even how she decides, oh, you're off today, guess what, I'm going drinking with my friend. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen it. You 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 see it. Oh man, how do you <laughs> deal with this situation, guys? Let me know in the comment section. Longer hang. That's no. one day option it. One day. Mark, oh, please do not be like this today. What do you mean? Please. Why are you no, like right, because, day? right, honestly, Mark, how often is it, and be honest, how often is it I actually get to just pop into town just with a friend? It never happens. What do you mean? You're in town right now. It happens a lot. No. Uh, and then I'm the one that has to just start. I don't know what to do with them. No. They're, no. They're, they're one of my mom. What, what do you they, mean you what don't? For them? What do you mean you don't know what to do with them? Mark, they I'm are just. I, I try to talk to them and they don't know. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. This is why I need you to look after them. Please. Mark, are you busy? Do you think I get a day off? Do you think, as a mother, they go, oh, you know what? Here's a magic wand. Have a day off, why don't you? That does not happen. <laughs> Yeah, but I, no, a day with the kids is hardly like a day off in work, is it? It's not it's, Honestly, you know what disgusts me the most, and it really boils my blood, is the fact that you are not on the phone right now saying, do you know what, babe, I would love a bit of extra time with them. And you know what, you've been working so hard, go and enjoy yourself, have a good few hours, <laughs> and we'll be waiting for here when you get back. You don't even want to spend time with them. I, I, I'm spending time with them, but you were maybe about 15 minutes ago to get them dinner and get them washed and stuff, and I'm just like, yeah, what a plum. You know what? I would come out for a fun time this morning. I came to shop for the things that we need. And I need you to watch the kids. That's your job. <laughs> oh, I know how people will take it, but like, of course, there's a lot of. Uh, things are play here. It's more political than <laughs> I'm just saying it. So guys, what do you think here? You've seen the conflict here. Uh, she wants to, to um, It's not even that maybe she linked up with her friend. She's the one that even called her friend from uh, her home like you know what? My husband is home today. You know what? Let's go out drinking like old times <laughs>